What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. And today I have with me Bob from the Positivity, Positivity Mindset. Mindset. And I'm always happy, happy to, to be here. here. <laughs> All right, guys. So today we'll be reacting to mm -hmm. um, an 80s has a life changing debate with Mufti mm -hmm. Meng. Oh. So, yeah, Mufti Meng is an um, Islamic scholar yeah, from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Yeah, yeah, so, I guys. You love him so much. This yeah, is the first time I'm checking out Mufti Meng. Yeah. Um, so, guys, how much of your time? Let's okay. get right into this. One day I was speaking to a man. Very interesting discussion on an aircraft. Normally, you know, we travel quite a bit, so you get to meet people. And when they ask you, what do you do? Some, you know, you tell them, no, I, I'm a religious person. I try to, you know, teach people a little bit here and there, myself as well. So I was discussing with this man. He tells me, I'm an atheist. I said, okay, so what do you believe? He says, I believe when we die, we are just returned to nature. So I said, okay, when you die, what have you told those whom you leave behind to do? He says, I will be cremated. I will be cremated. So I had a beautiful discussion with him, explaining to him the damage and the harm of being cremated. He was not happy initially, but then he said, wow, you got me thinking. What did I tell him? I told him, brother, you see, we are buried. We are taught how to be buried from the time of Adam alayhi salatu was salam. We believe that you, we were created from soil and the evidence for that is when we are returned to the soil, we decompose completely into the soil such that the remnants, there is almost nil or nothing. Have you thought of it? This man says, but I'm going to be cremated. I said, now when you cremate a person, what are you doing? You are applying tremendous heat and tremendous pressure. To your body we will not talk right now about whether you can feel it or not but i will tell you that will not return to the soil the reason is it becomes ash ash and soil are two different things completely if you were to be decomposed without tremendous heat and pressure you will decompose within the soil the minute you apply heat and pressure you become ash that ash what happens to it it does not return to the soil in fact it remains separated I said, but the, the point I'd like to ask you is, how do you know that you're not going to feel when people are burning you? He says, because medicine tells us that you don't feel anymore. I said, what if someone has felt it and they could not come back to tell you that we felt it? He says, I'll see when I go. I said, it will be too late. No answer. I'll see when I go. It's too late because people are saying, okay, you're going to burn me. And I start saying, but you want the punishment already whilst you're still leaving the world, not even got to the life after, you know, the year after, so to speak, in the proper sense. And then he looks at me and he says, but you've got me thinking. And I told him something else. I said, okay, my brother, listen to me. Let's say, for example, what you are saying and what I am saying. Put it to the litmus test. If what you are saying is true, then when we die, we will just be decomposed and that's it. Everything is over. What is the possibility and probability of what I am saying to be true? Is there any probability? He says, no, no chance. I said, okay, when I die, if I was a good man who worshipped whoever made me, whoever made me, I call him Allah. I call him Allah, Allah the worshipped one. And I say he is one alone. No worship to be rendered to anyone besides Al Khaliq, besides the one who made me. I put my head on the ground for him. I render an act of worship for him. Whatever I do is for him. So if I were to worship my maker and say, Oh, you who made me have mercy on me. Oh, you whom I am going to return to when I die, have mercy on me. So that is my statement on one hand. And on your side, you do whatever you want and you're not prepared and whatever. When we die, if what you said was right, I did not lose anything because I would have just died and decomposed. This is just a statement to make people think. If what you said was right, I did not lose anything because I decomposed. But if what I have said was right, you have lost everything. It's a fact. So why don't you just come and adopt what I've said? Because even in that case, you will lose nothing. Amazing. So follow some rules, follow some regulations and continue to say, Oh, you whom I'm going to return to have mercy upon me the day I return to you. When, when you return to someone like you are saying, you may, there may be a probability according to them, but you would have lost everything if what I said was true. 
He said, well, I'm going to think about it and think about it seriously. He says, you're the first person who's made me shaky in what I believe. I said, you know what? That means you have not spoken to enough people because even a child will tell you that there is a maker. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. Wow. The first time will I listen to Move to Mank, yeah? <laughs> He's one of my best like scholars, like he's really good. And when he speaks, he speaks out of wisdom and you always see him smiling. No oh, bro. He even went to Sierra Leone the other time, like when I saw him like guy, this guy is too nice. You know, sometimes when you're with God, like when you're with God, like truly with God, even when people see you, they can sense it. He has that like in Islam we call it nur in Arabic, like light. When you see him like this, like you know, like this is one of the people that God has favored. So, like he's really smart. He's always smiling, and when he preaches, it's something that you can take into consideration. And especially looking at this side, like when he was saying, like the guy was saying, "I'm an atheist. I don't worship anything. I'll be cremated or like out, and I will decompose um, with the soil or into the soil." What you notice, like he said, okay, maybe what you're saying is true, yeah. If I die, even if I'm worshipping somewhere, I, I didn't lose anything. I would just be like you. But what if your own side, you got it wrong, like you don't worship a maker, you don't worship anything, that you believe the one that created you, you don't believe in all those things you're living. When you die, if I'm correct, I, I'm the one worshipping my God and all of that. When I die, you will lose because like you didn't believe in it. So the best you can do is just... Even if people tell you that God doesn't exist, okay, but at least try your best to worship. Because when you die, you don't lose anything. Okay, if there's no God over there, which we know there's God, you don't lose anything. But if you don't worship God and just thinking that like you live your life, you just come and go, just like that, man, you've lost everything in this world and the next. That's True. really bad. So, I don't know if it was me and you were making some videos some weeks back, or I don't know. I was making a video and I said something like this. You know, most atheists or people who don't believe that there is God, mm -hmm. I keep telling them, right, I said, it's better for you to believe in something. Okay, even if you don't believe in that thing here, if I tell you, okay, this thing is wrong, you're doing, it doesn't impact you negatively. Let's say taking of alcohol. Mm -hmm. You know, most Christians, they believe, oh, it's not a sin. The other part believe it's a sin. Mm -hmm. Right. I was like, okay, even if you're not too sure it's a sin or not a sin, mm -hmm. it's not better to avoid it. Right? Yeah. That's the best. And yeah, you go over there, you find out, oh, it's not a sin. Yeah, you, you've got nothing to lose. Yeah, you've got nothing to lose. Yeah. Then you say it's, it's not a sin. Then you go and there. you go there, you find out it's a sin. Aye. You know, and something you're not even too sure of mm -hmm. that you that is taking you to. You've kept all the commandments, all the things God said you should keep, you know, yeah. and only that thing that we were not sure of yeah. that you could have avoided and you didn't avoid it. Mm -hmm. That's what I was trying to, I said in that video. Mm -hmm. So, um, what he's saying is just basically almost the same, the same thing I said. Because it's better we avoid the thing we're not too sure of mm -hmm. and get down like, oh, it's not a sin, we are safe. Yeah. Than when we don't avoid that we get there and that is what disqualifies us from entering into paradise yeah that's right that's know? really sad man. yeah so most people they like these people are so religious you people so you're taking this whole thing in your head but i like bro sis it's not about this but it's not not being 100 percent sure it's better to be on the safe side yeah you have nothing to lose when you've crossed there. You can't be regretting, oh, if I have known I've been doing this on earth. Because the, the reward over there is way much more than yeah. you, you forget all your trials on earth. You forget all the things. Because, you see, when you get a reward, that's like a race. Yeah? You've been preparing for years for just one single race. Yeah. You've been practicing. You've been putting all the work. As mm. athletes, you know, athletes, they put yeah, all the work yeah. for a particular race. Some people were like, oh, Wisin Boots is the fastest and, this, and when he was breaking records and stuff. But he didn't just came and broke record. He has been practicing behind the scene, where, yeah, which people do not see. Yeah, there are a lot of food he avoided, a lot of places he didn't go to, a lot of parties he didn't attend, there's a lot of people he wasn't able to see because he was busy in training, I um, in camps and the rest of that. And then at the Olympics, pa, 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 two world records were broken. Yeah. You know? So because he had put in the work, but right now, you 
you try you, yeah. you even think about like the struggles he went exactly that it's unbelievable you know because yeah. he'll be going for interviews after he wins the race yeah. interviews and those main deals are coming just from one single race yeah. but the journey didn't start that single race you know yeah, on that race he has been practicing years and years of hard work years of years of practice years yeah. of years like probably he's participated in qualifiers and he didn't even make it some years back yeah. but he kept on putting the work you know so let us let us remind let us remind ourselves that we are in a race in this world mm -hmm. we are in a test and this life is like it's the test, it's the test. like even in islam there is this hadith the prophet said like you should live in this world like you're a stranger. Yeah. At any moment from now, you just pass by and you pass it. And too, when you're living as a believer, the world becomes a prison for you because a lot of the things that we do or people, the norms are against like what God commands. It's, yeah, yeah so that's it's kind true. of like you don't get. Some people say like when you are living holy life, it's not fun. It's I not say actually. no, like it's not like the fun you are thinking is fun. For well, other people, it's not fun because, like, what I've noticed when you are kind of religious, you have that thing they call contentment. Yeah. And when you are content, you don't think about materialistic thing. You don't have a lot of issues because every time you are too materialistic, it causes a whole lot of issues. You're involved in things that you should not involve in. Well, yeah. So you, you know, you know, there's something when you talk about let's be, be real, uh, materialistic. When you're in the world, yeah, a lot of things don't. You don't get contented with the things yeah. you do. Let's say you get a million dollars today tomorrow you're wanting two million why mm -hmm. probably you want to impress one of the hottest model that is they just came on the, uh, you know yeah. you actually see most early celebrities you hear divorce in this relationship today is broken up tomorrow and the rest of that mm -hmm. and you see some of them die of drug overdose because they try one oh they get high today they want to be on that level the next That's day it. and they, they before you know a lot of it. mix of um die of different substance in the scene different substance in the yeah. system uh -huh. you know it's you can't get contented you know, when you're in the world you know there's nothing there's no yardstick of measurement yeah. you know you just want to be there like you try you everything to, you, you explore to, and yeah. rest of that but when you are you are you follow what um the scriptures is saying you follow what um you're like the prophets are saying the mm -hmm. people who followed god are saying mm -hmm. you would know there are limits to things you'll be like people will say oh you are bored um, you're a party pooper you don't you, yeah. you know a lot of things they will say about you but like yeah they say it's a prison because there's a there are a lot of things that limit you mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. when you're talking about things that limit you probably as in islam you don't take alcohol mm -hmm. you you don't a lot of things you don't gamble yeah. you don't do pay um Sexual give loan and collect in, um, you yeah, collect interest and in loans you know a lot of things they will like you or do, they will see you as an idiot or someone who doesn't know what he's doing you know yeah. who is limited who is you know they will tag you with different tags yeah but at but, the end of the day you are content yeah, exactly you know, that's why people will say you are in prison, you are in bondage, you are not seeing the light. But they forget that you yourself is the light in the world. You are the yeah. salt of the world. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just crazy how how our world, our generation, we talk things, we see things, mm -hmm. we feel we are the we are especially the Gen Z. These guys are the worst. Seriously, mm -hmm. different challenge, different things. You don't see sex as anything. Like you know, yeah. it's just crazy. That's it. Oh, the video was nice, boy. Right? Yeah, nice. true. All right, guys, thank you for sticking with us on this one. If you have any videos you want us to react to, you can drop us in the comment section and also follow him, Boom Boom Man. Follow him at uh, the positivity mindset. mindset. Bro. Yeah, no so follow him at the positivity mindset. Uh -huh. Amazing content, amazing, amazing content. You just uh -huh. go check it out. I'll be dropping the link in the description so you go follow it and check out. His content always amazing, amazing content he drops out there, guys. So, without wasting much of your time, to come away next time, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, subscribe. Wow. turn on the notification button. Yeah, and you don't.